it was the end of an era. And the beginning of the next. Even though we lived in the Baldwin Hills, Crenshaw area, we came up in the area of blessing. You know, we went to Beverly Hills High. Mike is Mac Daddy. Al, very artistic, creative. Dave, very personable. People just genuinely like a lot. And that's how I describe those three guys. Me, I describe myself as a businessman. And we decided to start Jamaica House. Well, Dave and Howard had a little light bulb in their head and said, you know what, Mike, why don't you just, you know, you know all these people, these are all your friends, why don't you come join us and we're going to do this thing called Jamaica House. Hot, packed, steamy, and we packed the place out. It's Jamaica House Night at Roxbury on Sunset Boulevard. We have celebrities always in the house. We have, like I said, the top acts performing and a lot of beautiful women and good music. This Studio 54 of hip hop at the biggest crowds. And that's what makes the dress to impress crowd wait outside in long lines nightly. Let us in. We want to get in. Just all different types of people coming down. And you know, whether it was root rock or dance hall influence, it's like that was the spot. And Madonna came to this. Finest women. And the hottest performances. Onyx, Farside. Puppy all performed on stage. Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Snoop, Tribe Called Quest, Fuji's, Black Eyed Peas. I had Cypress Hill come down right when they were first coming out. All of rap's immortal legends performed. The Notorious B.I.G., Tupac Shakur, Jam Master J., and the late Guru. It was good and there was a melting pot of people in there. It got really, really big at, at a certain point. When it became huge at the Mayan, it was fun in the beginning, but it turned into something very bad. I was definitely a womanizer. Not as bad as Michael. Girls would know that Michael O'Connor does not have a girlfriend, but there's probably going to be five or six other girls back at the house too. Well, probably like around 60, 60 or 70. It could be around 200. They definitely do not have the crown on that. That would be my boy Howard. I would always have to take it to the next level. Eventually became very detrimental on, on my life, my health. Man, I drank at least six or seven Long Island iced teas in one night, easily. I thought I was so Billy Badass, I'd take my gun out and start popping it in the air. Pop, 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 pop. In the apartment with about six prostitutes. I had a 380 Beretta sitting next to me under the pillow, and I had about an ounce of crack cocaine on a plate right here on the bed, naked, and the house gets raised. Cause I ain't said shit.